There are many of you who have probably been wondering what living in 56W classroom is like. Sure, we have desks and chairs and students. We have a teacher. We learn stuff. We do stuff. We have lots of fun. But there is something we have that no one else does. And that's what this movie is about. Please enjoy The Secret Life of Pets. 56W's Pets. In the far corner of the classroom, you will find our fish tank. Inside this tank live eight little fish. They are all from the tetra species, which are tiny, silvery, and often colourful fish that like to live in large groups or schools. We spent quite some time choosing names for our fish. They are fabulous names. We have two neon tetras named Hit and Miss, two Harley Quinn tetras called Harley and Joker, two Rubby Nose tetras called Calla and Maria, and two Red Eye tetras named Stan and Stan Jr. You might think fish are a bit boring, but they are really not. Let's take a closer look at what they get up to. Sometimes they like to hide in plants, and we even think they like to play hide and seek. They love to dart in and out in, and in and out. It goes on forever sometimes. Really greedy little beast, and I love to gobble up all the fish food flakes we can sprinkle. Crikey! <laughs> They're friendly with each other a lot, and they like just hanging out in the tank, watching us with their little bee eyes. We wonder what they're thinking sometimes. Unfortunately, during the making of this film, one of our fish, Stan Senior, suddenly succumbed to sickness or old age and sadly passed away. We sent him off in true 56W style, flushing him away to good old fish heaven. Adios, old timer. But fascinating fish are not the only pets we have. The other interesting friends we have this year are some spiny leaf insects. Our three pets belong to the phasmid species and are related to grasshoppers, stick insects and prey mantis. We also spent some time naming our little leafy friends. And finally decided on Tweety. She's the oldest. Tweety, she's the middle child. And of course, our baby girl, Beyonce. Let's take a close look at what they get up. Spiny leaf insects are fascinating creatures, but to be honest, they don't seem to do a lot. At first glance, they really just like to hang about on eucalyptus leaves, upside down mostly, but they don't just hang. Oh no, they like to dance. When they feel stressed or scared, they sway from side to side so they look a bit like a leaf swaying in the wind. It's meant to camouflage them, but it looks a bit weird when they're not on a tree. Beyonce's got the lid down. They're absolutely little pigs with their food. They only eat one thing, and that's the gum leaves they live on. But it's how they eat that's really interesting. Have you ever eaten corn on the cob and just gone from one end to the other? Well, that's how these little insects eat too. They pick a spot and slowly munch their way along the leaf and go back and munch along the same line again and again until the leaf is gone. They are very organised eaters. But wait, there's more. Spiny leaf insects grow a lot during their lifetime, but they can't grow much in the skin they're in. So every few months they shed their exoskeleton and emerge about double the size they were. All three of our insects have shed their exoskeleton once already. But do you want to know the really weird thing? After they squeeze out of their old skin, they eat it. Apparently it's full of good nutrients. Still seems a bit weird though. We can't imagine wanting to eat an old t-shirt once you outgrow it. If these insects eat a lot, and they do, they eat all those leaves and exoskeletons they also have to poo but 
let us tell you. They are very big poopers. The bottom of the tank is always covered in these cute little things. We never knew poop could be cute. Till now. As our insects get older, they will start laying eggs as well. Might even get some new spiny leaf insect babies called nymphs. But for now, it's just poop, poop, poop. Thank you for watching The Secret Life of Our Pets. We hope you've enjoyed learning about some of the weird living things in our classroom. There's certainly plenty of them, both in and out of the tanks.